Mm. Welcome back to where I try to recreate Animal Crossing in Sims 4. So far I've created Marshall and Julian for our first set of villagers and now we move on to one of the community builds. That's right, the museum! This will be a two-parter for this project. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So by the end of this video, I will announce the next villager I'll be creating. Hopefully. I've said many times in these videos that I'm a good builder. But in Sims, Sims is the only place I suck at creating houses. Minecraft, decent. Ark, great. Etc. With that, I have made many mistakes in this build that I regret and was just two balls deep to go back and change. Also, with my ADHD, it's very hard for me to focus on one section of the museum. This isn't my proudest building, so take that with a grain of salt. Mistake number one was this bitch. Too big. It was way too big. That's what she said. I thought I needed a lot more room to work on some of the layouts of some of the parts of the museum. But it turns out, Sims have none of the shit I needed to use for this damn build. I made decisions like, yeah, I think I will keep Brewster's um, cafe more separated and kind of add it to the little, add more to the neighborhood because there's a lot of empty lots in this neighborhood we're using. I should have just did that and also added it into museum like it was in New Horizon have one museum and the other has a freestanding building. It would have made a lot of sense because it is a like chain like restaurant, right? Like a chain cafe, so. But bruh. Anywhore. I made this way too big. That's what she said. And by the time it dawned to me, it was too late. I was already halfway done and I was like, I knew if I tried to shrink it, it would ruin a lot of things. I tried to make better pillars ones that stuck out the building a little bit more so it doesn't seem too flat but the way I did it ruined parts of the foundation I just end up sticking with normal pill pillars at the end of this build well here is the part where I decided to delete the original pillars idea because for some reason the stupid door won't go in place oh well, maybe it's a game and not me who knows fuck this game so about the red bricks, I will change that. But I thought this bit of the museum, that bit right there, was a piece of wall. And, I, and then when I was looking back on it later, I saw it was really a banner. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so to start this building off, I started in the entryway. I spent way too long in this entryway. I really want to make it match New Horizons Museum, but again, Sims don't have a lot of things that really match it sadly. I brute forced my way through this entire build. I was sad I didn't find any plaques in the beginning that were similar to the ones in the game, but stay with me, you'll find out later. I found something. So for now I put these stupid ones down for now. <laughs> Damn. Also I should mention I don't own every pack in the game, so if you comment down below a like furniture or something that you didn't see me use is probably because I don't have that pack. I'm not sorry, I'm a broke ass bitch. I tried so hard and spent so long trying to recreate this to be very accurate and at one point I accepted that it won't be the same. I had to or else this build would take <laughs> it would take too long to build and it will still look like a piece of crap. So, as long as people recognize it's a museum from Animal Crossing, that's fine with me. So, it's time to tackle the bug room. So, the bug room, unfortunately, again, this game, the, it won't be as accurate. It's more of a garden in the end than the actual bug room, because it's not a lot of bug items I could use in Sims. And I tried um, to make take some of the elements from the game like some of the layouts and stuff like that to shape out my area of the museum. Whoa, fuck. I knocked over my milkshake. Where was I? I always lose my place in this damn script. Uh, where was I? 
I don't remember where I was, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at doing scripts. Oh. Let's just talk about the butterfly room. Because I really love the butterfly room in New Horizons. It's one of my favorite things in the museum. So I really try to recreate that in here for my build. Because it's one of my favorites. I love the fountain in the middle with being surrounded by butterflies flowing in the area. And which you can add like particle effects in like when you're just building. Like these kind of things. But you can't really add these kind of particle effects. That'd be really cool. I think Sims, like EA, you should really think about adding that kind of thing in Sims. I don't know if it will like glitch the game out. Well, not glitch the game out. Lag the game out, but I'm just saying. After that, though, after we finish, well, after I finished most of the layout, I can't really explain what my process was I was going for and why I was placing all this random shit down. I just wanted the place to look full, a little busy, and somewhat cohesive. I did find some cool like butterfly wall features and put them on. It was really I really like this piece, so it kind of works out for some parts. So it kind of gives the bug theme, but at the same time, and also I, I wish I could add the specimens or whatever to display, but I am on console, Xbox be more price, and I didn't want to spend forever adding them in with cheats because it takes fucking forever to type it out, and I don't have a keyboard to plug in my Xbox anymore. So no. I continue to add more junk until I stumble across the bug boxes that I totally forgot about. I shoved a few in and we were pretty much done with the bug room. And here is the final results of the room. I am so sad I can't really get the layout I wanted and create some of the things in the bug side of the museum. Like the water going through the place and everything. The museum is such a cool place in my opinion. It has such a unique area. Areas of it. I wish I had a little better building skills too in Sims, and and I also wish that Sims had more freedom with build mode for these kind of builds. Before tackling the side of the aquarium, I decided to add the bathrooms because it's part of the quali 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 qualifying features to be a museum and a lot in Sims 4. I lied, I only put the walls up and my DH kick D kicked it and I start working on the aquarium part. Never mind. This side uh, changes a lot through the video, so this is not really a full solid side of the video. I hate it no matter what I did, it looks like garbage. Sims has no aquarium crab, only these tanks and some tiny ones, and that's it. I thought about putting it in pools with windows on the bottom part of it like I did in my murder chamber uh let's not talk about that <laughs> but then I would have to cut either the mu the art section in half or add a third floor to it the more I'm thinking about it I should have done that anyway anyway because then I wouldn't have to fill up as much as space as I needed to shit I tried to add ponds at one point and the game was like, nope, because it's ponds are for outside. Unfortunately, the game won't let me add an indoor pond. That's bullshit. I could have done law with an indoor pond, but no. I even thought about adding this stupid hot spring. I thought it would be a good idea, but eventually scrapped this idea later on. You'll probably see in the second part. I tried putting up some wall decorations. Still look like shit. And then I try to put up this wall divider. Still looks like shit. <laughs> so I gave up and worked on other parts of the museum. This side had me wishing there was a better museum pack or a better community pack to make some cool parks maybe, a library, but I don't think we'll see that anytime soon. Maybe in Sims 5s they'll add it, but with that I'm ending the video here. Next part we'll hopefully finish the building. Muffy is the winner, so stick around to see her come to life in Sims and be added to our village. And keep commenting on your favorite villager. They might be added to the village. You never know. And stay weird, bitches. And please subscribe to these videos. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I hate my script. <laughs> I'm so terrible at scripts. Um, I was gonna forgot I was gonna say shit, whore, bitch. Um. Oh, the ending the video. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. 
but like I was, I think I was talking about how these videos take so long to make because they do take long to make. Now, what the fuck is on my screen? I need to end the video. Um, like I said, these videos take a long time, so I appreciate any kind of support, even if you just like the video or just maybe subscribe. That'd be nice too. But you know what? Any anything you want to do. And on that, stay weird, bitches.